guys welcome back to my channel so I have another grocery haul and meal plan video for you today I am going to Costco so I'm running in to get some stuff at Costco and then I am going to go to grocery outlet and then tomorrow I'm going to my local grocery store so this is gonna be a combination of a few different grocery stores and I also will show you my meal plan so let's get into the video Guys, so here is the first part of the grocery haul. So I did get a few like non-food stuff I just wanted to share with you. Um, I get a lot of questions about things that I use. I really like the Clorox brand, especially the ones that have the, um, the strong smell. I just really like it. So I have some toilet cleaning gel, some multi-purpose cleaner, some disinfectant wipes, which I like to keep one of these in each of the bathrooms. I got some makeup wipes and then I got three, so one for the kitchen and one for each of the bathrooms of just some hand soap. So there's some non-food stuff. Um, I got went to Grocery Outlet and Costco. Costco was kind of a bust. It didn't have a lot of things that I wanted to get, which is kind of a bummer, but oh well. So I got three things of a grass-fed to ground beef. This is the 93.7, so that's what all three of those. I picked up some whole milk string cheese. I just like to have these as a snack, plus the family eats them too. I found this at Grocery Outlet. I have no idea what I'm gonna use it for. I did see a recipe for keto crackers, and so I thought maybe I'd make some crackers. This would also just be good with celery, I think. So it's blue cheese with caramelized onions. So celery or cucumbers, I think this would be really good with. I picked up some turkey sausage. I actually picked this up at Grocery Outlet. I planned on making that sausage bake again. It was a huge hit in my house and it's such an easy breakfast. But then I saw this. I actually stopped in to Albertsons just to grab something to drink on my way to my hair appointment. And they, I saw this when I had some time to kill. So I was just looking around and I saw this. I've never had chorizo. Now this is a turkey sausage chorizo. It just has the chorizo seasonings. So I thought this actually might be even better for that sausage bake. So I may just throw this into the freezer just to have it because I really think I'm gonna try this with that sausage bake. Um, at Costco I picked up some chives. I love to have this in a lot of different recipes. Sometimes I just like to throw them on salads. This is the dried ones. This is only $3 at Costco for this big thing of it. Picked up a rotisserie chicken, of course. Um, one of my dinners this week is gonna be this mold smoked pulled pork. You guys, this is really good in macros. Here are the macros here. And there are the ingredients. So this is such a good low carb um, thing and it, meal and it's really super good. Picked up some romaine lettuce, picked up some shredded mozzarella cheese. I plan on making the um, fathead dough pizza and I'm gonna use this for that. I picked up some raspberries. These were a really, really smoking deal at Costco. They are $3.99 for this 12 ounce container. And then my grocery outlet was out of the Happy Eggs and I didn't think I'd make it to Safeway. So I just picked up these at Costco. They are the free range Wilcox family. I've never had these before, but I just thought I would pick those up just so I had some eggs. So now we'll go into the rest of the grocery haul and then I will show you my meal plan. Actually. Okay, so here is the second part of the grocery haul. So I have some chicken here, and this will be for the um, Caesar salad. I did pick up a couple of the Lily's Extra Dark Chocolate Salted Almond Bars. These are the ones that are, for half of it, they are only three net carbs. I needed some sharp cheddar for one of the recipes this week. I need a butter for another couple recipes. The third fat, less cream cheese. I needed this for, there's a breakfast bake and then one other recipe I needed this for this week as well. I'm gonna make um, some of the fat head pizza dough and so I'm gonna put some pepperoni on it. And then also some salami. And I picked up some, just some sliced pepper jack cheese just to snack on. I need a sour cream for a couple of different recipes this week. And then I wanted, instead of turkey bacon this week, I wanted to pick up some sausage patties to have with my breakfast. These are the Smithfield. And they do have a little bit of sugar, but this is the best that I can find in my area. Here are the ingredients. 
And I need heavy, heavy whipping cream for my coffee. And then I picked up some coffee. This is actually a toasted coconut butter coffee. So I thought I'd try that out and see how that was. I just picked up some oven roasted deli turkey. This again is just for snacking. I'm gonna be having some salsa verde bowls and it actually calls to make your own salsa verde sauce, but it's, it seems like a pretty long process, so I didn't have time to do that. So I just picked this one up. It does have two carbs in it. And I think the rest is produce, so I picked up some strawberries. Spring mix for salads. I just like to mix this up with that romaine that I picked up from Costco yesterday. Picked up a couple of green onions to go in salads. Picked up some celery to go with that cheese that I showed you guys yesterday that I picked up at Grocery Outlet. I picked up some tomatoes just to go in salads and with a couple different recipes. A few of the recipes call for jalapenos this week, so I picked up some of those. I needed parsley for a that turkey meatball recipe. Cilantro for a couple of different recipes. I believe the red pepper goes in the turkey meatballs as well. The green pepper is going to be for the pizza. And then the Brussels spots will be for that Caesar salad. Coleslaw. I can't remember which recipe this is for, but there is something that I needed. I think this is for the Salsa Verde chicken bowls. Uh, the riced cauliflower is going to be for those Verde bowls as well. And then just cauliflower for the sides. So let's go into the meal plan. Okay, so here is my weekly meal plan. And this is the Carrie L meal planner. If you guys have not seen this, I do have a link for it down below in the description box. I put all my meals over here and then I just um, use the grocery list side. I use that to do my breakfast, lunches, and snacks and then kind of start my meal prep list. So for one day this week, I'm making the fathead dough pizza. Another day I'm doing chicken verde taco bowls. And then another day I'll be doing that pulled pork that I picked up at Costco. And I'm going to be making some keto cornbread to go along with that. Uh, another day I'll be doing taco salads. And then another day I'm going to be doing Brussels sprout sea salad salads with grilled chicken. For my breakfast, I'm going to try out another breakfast bake. This one is out of the Craveable Keto cookbook. I'm going to use that chorizo turkey sausage that I picked up. I'm going to try that in there. I'm going to do some cinnamon muffins, and that's what I'll pair the sausages with. For lunches, I'm going to do, I'm just going to make up some taco meat and just do taco salads. I'm also going to make some turkey meatballs and have that with a salad. Snacks will be celery or cucumbers with that cheese dip. And then my meal prep, which will be up on Monday, I'll be doing the keto cornbread, turkey meatballs. I'll be making up that taco meat, making the muffins, and making the breakfast bake. And that's all I have scheduled at this moment. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will have a playlist on the screen of all of my grocery hauls. And please subscribe if you have not already done so. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.